All our knowledge come from India. So we are student or teacher or Indian teacher, Indian guru. So we Tibetan and Indian relation is something like relation between guru and chela. Some special sort of relation, spiritual level. So that's very much deep in the human mind, isn't it? So now I'm teasing to our Indian friend. Hmm. Now modern Indian, no longer our guru. <laughs> because these ancient sort of marvelous knowledge, now you Indian not much pay attention about these things. Now I am sort of appealing my Indian friend, please pay more attention about ancient Indian knowledge. Knowledge about the human mind and knowledge about philosophical views. Now some scientists now really showing interest. So they are really trying to learn from ancient Indian knowledge about mind, about emotion. So now today's world, there is some kind of crisis of sort of, what is it, emotion crisis. Too much anger, too much fear, too much stress. So that, uh, it is wrong in order to reduce anger, in order to reduce uh, stress. You see, drugs, alcohol, this is uh, uh, not the answer. Answer is training our mind oh, with fuller knowledge about emotion, irrespective of whether believer or non-believer. Knowledge about mind, about emotion is I think seven billion human beings really need this knowledge. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you. No media.